right, welcome, welcome. It's been a while. It's been a long while. And that's kind of on purpose. I, uh, I was uh, busy refing a lot of volleyball and still refing a lot of volleyball. Um, and uh, I wasn't really happy with the uh, college football 25 when it came out. Had a couple of streams. I hate that game. It's garbage. Gameplay is garbage. Everything about it is garbage. So I needed a break. So I took a break. So uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to do the off season. Um, see if we can view this. Yep, barely. Right over my head. Right there. You can see the first season with the Cardinals. We went 90 and 72, won the division, but lost in the NLDS. The next year, we won 101 games, lost in the NLDS. Uh, won the first round as a wild card, then lost. 2026, we won 102 games, lost in the NLCS. And then last year, we won 100 games and lost in the World Series to the Rangers. Heartbreaking fashion because the game screwed us over. A, uh, just a random throwing air out of nowhere by Mason Wynn. He hadn't had a throwing air all playoffs, and he launches one into the uh, seats and costs us a game. Took me a while to get over that, so but we're back. We are going to uh, play the 2028 season, season five, and that'll be our last year using the Cardinals, win or lose. Um, done the Rockies, won a World Series, done the A's, won a World Series, doing my team and <laughs> we've won a hundred games in a row or three years in a row and we can't win a world series. So we're going to try one more time. And if we get it great, if we don't get it, we'll move on. I'll uh, take it as an L, not a complete L, but an L in the fact that we didn't get a world series. So that's what we're going to do today. And since we have our last season, you can see here, we lost four games to two. We have our last season. It really doesn't matter about signing free agents and all that good stuff. Um, what we sign them to and all that good stuff because it, it really won't matter. We got one more year. So I have uh, made a different save file and did the entire offseason to see what I could do. So I have a game plan. And uh, we're going to make at least two major trades. Um, one of them to uh, get us a replacement for... Arenado, who is uh, going to leave as a free agent as soon as I advance the day. And uh, another one is to, uh, I'll just leave it as a surprise. Um, but uh, we're going we're gonna to try and make this season um, really worthwhile. So let me advance the day. And we need a new pitching coach. Who retired? Grossman. Austin Nola. Anybody big? Chris Bassett. Brandon Belt. These guys are all free agents, so it doesn't matter. Clayton Kershaw gets to the Hall of Fame. And we have Doval, who we traded for at the trade deadline. Manoa, we also traded for, I think those, it might have been in, during the All-Star break area, the late July before the trade deadline. And then Arenado, um, Manoa, I'm going to try and resign. Um, he's really good. His pitching clutch is good, which means guy's getting scoring position. He's better than he is with uh, men on first or nobody on base. So I'd like to bring him back. Um, Doval, um, I'm going to let him go. I'm going to try and get a different closer. And uh, Arnado, we're going to let go. He can't hit lefties anymore. His power is way down against both sides. And uh, we're just going to let him go. Um, I have another idea for third base. So I will get to that in a minute. And um, yeah, there's going to be some, some trades and stuff moving around. So let's get started. First, get this pitching coach out of the way. I guess it doesn't really matter. Should be able to get that. We're going to let all three of these, well, you know what? I'm going to try and re-sign Manoa now and see if we can get this because, uh, like I said, it really won't make that much difference. Let's go to 65 mil, 13 a year. See if he takes that. If he doesn't, I'll up it a little bit more. I signed him before previously. 
five years 62 yeah so he should take five years 65 so let's see and uh yeah well let's so he he went to the angels all right we'll get somebody else how about cisneros let's give you four mil there we go that should go all right no earpiece in my earpieces have uh batteries have uh gone dead since i haven't streamed in two months so i am rebooting recharging them right now but they're only like at four percent so i cannot hear myself right now um all right we'll see if that pitching coach signs we'll see if manoa signs pause do we get manoa Nope. He hasn't signs. Let's up this again. I still want to deal with it. Let's go to 68 mil. See if he takes that. Did we get him? No. Nope. All right. That's fine. Let's try and get it out of the way right now. Let's see. Where is he? Let me move my camera. Yeah, where should we put it? Let's stick it over in this corner for now. We might have to move that around a little bit. All right, Alcantara we've had before. Where's Manoa? Here. Logan Gilbert. This clutch is really good, too. Those home runs are not. Those are better. We've already had Alcantara. I don't want to bring him back on the Cardinals. We'll just stick with that. Um, let's see. Oh, I know what I need to do first. Hold on, guys. We have too many guys on our roster, so I need to get rid of a couple some guys. Let's see. Brandon Comar needs to get released. Tanner Jacobson needs to be released. And Connor Lung needs to get released. All right. Ludwig's going to triple A. We're going to trade a couple of these relievers, so don't worry about that. Um, Elijah Green's going to go to the 40 man. And. Let's tender these contracts and get this out of the way. Get all this out of the way before I start making some trades. You watch some of these guys who uh, do MLB The Show franchise and they just renew the contract and it hits them up for, you know, 750000 or whatever. Um, you, you don't need to spend that much money on these guys. You can get away with offering them next to nothing. It gives you, if you multiply that by like 30 guys, you end up saving a whole lot of money that you can spend somewhere else. So don't just hit uh, renew offer take the time to go through this um, see I'm gonna chop over 700,000 off this guy you multiply that that's a lot of money cut him all you need to do is get it in the green right there anyway Man, it's weird. It took me a little bit to get everything set up. I said I was going live, and then it was like 10 minutes later. I had to make sure my microphone was working. My um, chat bot was working. Made me re, uh, log into my both my bot account and my main account. Redo the tokens and all that good stuff. So It's amazing. All the hoops you got to jump through. Um, when you haven't streamed in two months. So what I'm planning on doing is uh, 
We're going to do the off-season tonight. She only lasts us a couple hours. I am not going to play any spring training games. Um, well, after I make these trades, we might play a couple of spring training games and player lock on uh, one or two guys. Um, but it's just for those particular guys I'm going to trade for. And you'll figure out why once we make these deals. Um, but we're not going to get a whole lot of gameplay. Um, but I will come back probably... Who plays Monday night? Give me one second. Who's playing Monday night? If I don't do it Monday day... I'll play Monday night. Let me look at my team. Is I got anybody playing Monday night? Nope. What about Charlie? Look at these guys. Monday Chiefs. Yeah, so yeah, I'll probably come back and play uh, the month of April on Monday day. Um, maybe we'll do it early in the morning so I have the rest of my day open. I do not ref next week on Monday or Tuesday. So what we're going to do is we're going to do two streams, one on Monday day, one on Tuesday day. Um, I think Wednesday I'll take off. Thursday, um, I have a match. Friday I'm gone all day. Four matches out of town Friday. Um, so we might take the last part of the week off and then come back Saturday or Sunday and, and do... Uh, another month but we're gonna crank through this get into the end of my seasons and uh what i'm gonna do when i'm done with the cardinals like i said this will be the last year we play so once i get done with the cardinals um i'm going to um i haven't decided if i'm gonna do oakland or if i'm gonna do the white Sox. i'm considering putting the white Sox in a different ballpark um, considering moving Oakland to Utah, make them the Utah Avengers. I already got a stadium for that. Um, if I do the White Sox, I'll move them to another stadium that somebody else uh, that I follow on YouTube, he made a new White Sox ballpark. So I would play them in that ballpark. It's pretty cool. Um, the Utah one is going to be interesting because it's at altitude. <laughs> So balls are going to fly out of there like they do at Coors Field. So I tried to make it uh, deep, especially the center field. Um, these two guys got cut. So um, I'll have to figure that out. Maybe we'll, we'll vote. You guys can give your input later in the stream and let me know if you uh, what you want me to do. If you want me to play the White Sox and rebuild them this year, not next year, and move them to a new ballpark, or if you want me to... Uh, if I did Oakland, I would sim the entire first season so I could just focus on the draft and trading guys away and getting guys in on the team. We would sim the whole season. That that might be just one long stream and do the whole season, first season in one stream, um, and then move them. I've already got some pretty cool uniforms. I'll show you that when we're done with the Cardinals here. You can take a, a peek at what that looks like, and uh, maybe I'll do a home run derby in their park real quick and show you what that looks like. But... Uh, that's what I'm planning on doing once we get done with this season. That should take us through a uh, good chunk of the winter because I am not playing NCAA football and uh, get us ready to do baseball again in March. So, And uh, let's see, we got all those. We got arbitration for Barlow. Let me see if we can just sign him. Let's just do one year. Off from 1.8 takes that we have any when you're doing your franchises you need to go into the free agents and start at the bottom and scroll your way up and see this guy was an 18 year old that's 58 overall with b potential that was either drafted and cut because they had too many players on their team or he wasn't drafted at all so you can steal some pretty good low low level um prospects and backfill your team if you need extra um, I'm not going to put them on there because I have plenty of pitching in here. Um, and I always start in the 50s, so let's see if we got any other catchers in here. We got this guy, Cristobal Manzo. Do I have him on the list? 
<laughs> All those guys are signed. Hey, what? How many guys do I have to cut? Nope. So we have one guy less. If I sign Manoa, that's the only one I want to bring back. That puts me at 93. So, okay. I think we're good there. So, we have a hole at third base. This is what I'm, I'm thinking at. We've got Cutliff, remember? Rookie last year, won 13 games. He's our highest rated starting pitcher right now because Manoa is not re-signed. So, we've already got five pitchers, six with Hens. I'm going to trade Valdez away because he's 34 and he's regressing. I'm going to trade him away. Probably going to trade away Bueller too. And so we'll have Hens, Bybee, Painter, Cutliff, and hopefully Manoa. If not, it'll be someone else. I won't make this Bueller trade until we know if we get Manoa or not because otherwise I'll need to keep him. But we're trading Valdez for sure. Um, all these guys are staying. We are going to trade Jordan Romano away. Um, I already know a team that needs him, so we're going to ship him out. And I think Jimmy Reyes is going to get shipped out as well. Um, yeah, I do have some guys here. Okay. I'm going to trade Wilson Contreras. Um, Naylor staying at first. Um, I am trying to figure out how to do this. Gorman's either going to start at second or I'm going to move him to third. He'll actually go up in his overall if I move him to third. Um, if I move him to third, then we'll go with Rangifo and Sejaci at second base. We'll have Gorman at third. I win at short. We got Donovan in left, Walker's DH, Edmonds in center, and Newtbar's in right. Um, I'm going to make a trade for another center fielder. We're going to trade uh, Tommy two bags away. Um, I think I'm going to have to trade this pretty, this stud 97 contact against lefties. Probably going to have to trade this guy away in, in a deal to get who I want to get. So, um, anyway, so let me sim a day. Lane Thomas got traded. Say a Suzuki to the Padres, Alcantara to the Royals, Rutschman to the Braves. All right, re signed all those guys. Noah, still got him out there. Um, I'm just going to leave that there. He should sign. We don't have to worry about it. 40-man roster. Um, I'm going to trade Jimmy Reyes away because I don't want to deal with him. Um, let's see. What did I do? I think I put... Diavila. Added him, Kloffenstein, and uh, is it Goshida? Mm -mm. There's a left fielder out here. Alfredo Cabrera. Let's see if we can find this dude. Or if he got signed on the first day. There he is. Well, for him. First baseman Bryce Bush. And relief pitcher Aaron Leroy. Push on here. Nope. What about Leroy? He's on there. Who signed Bush? Doesn't look like anybody. Hmm. Let me check that again. Outfielder, I moved. The 
Let's do this. Can we search him? There you go. He's a free agent. Second base. Why did I have him at first base? Maybe I moved him. Uh, that could be it. Let me check. This is all the boring stuff. Yeah, I, I signed this dude because he's an A potential. He's a 57, but his defense sucks. So I'm going to sign this guy and make him play first base. Okay. Let me start marking some of this shit off. These guys are gone. Promoted, 40 man. RJ Shrek and Hunter Hayes. Those two guys are gone. I have this trade. Let's get this uh, closer sent away for a straight-up reliever. I need too many closers. So we'll trade Jimmy Reyes. To the Yankees, and we're going to get... Yep. All right, so that shifts a closer to relief pitcher. All right, so... We got those three, so Manoa, I'm just waiting for him. And all right, let's make our first trade. So we are going to trade Framber Valdez, Jordan Romano, and Moises Gomez to the Twins for Royce Lewis. What's up, Lynn Weezy? What's up, guys? How you doing? Yeah, I know. It's been a while, man. It's been two months. I've been reffing a lot. I had uh, two college matches today. The match that I was up on the stand for went five. <laughs> had to yellow card the coach for the winning team because she was being a bitch. And uh, but I've been doing a lot, man. A lot of reffing. This, this past week, I did a high school match, guys. The number one team versus the number three team in the St. Louis area and uh, went five sets and a number three team upset the number one team. It was crazy. <laughs> it was absolutely crazy. And I did their JV match before that and that one went three and uh, the number three school upset the number one school on the JV side too. It was crazy. They were down 20 to 10 in the first set. Came all the way back and tied it. Lost 26-24, but then they won the last two sets to win the JV match. It was crazy. So, had some incredible matches lately. And uh, having a lot of fun, honestly. Been trying to uh, not stream, going not going to people's streams. Not watch a lot of uh, TV. Just been kind of chilling. So, but we're getting back into it. We're going to do baseball. We're going to do... This last season for the Cardinals, if you weren't here when we started the stream, we're going to do one more season of the Cardinals, win or lose, whether we win the series or not. We're going to play it, and we're done. Um, and then we're going to move on to a new one, whether it's play the White Sox and put them in a new ballpark or move the A's to Utah and a new ballpark and a new team name and new uniforms and do that. I'll let you guys figure that out later. But... We're going to make this trade right here so Royce Lewis can play third base, and that'll leave Gorman at second. Um, I forgot that uh, so JC is going to have to go in the second trade. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be... It's either... No, I might keep so JC. It might be that A prospect at third base. Anyway, let's just finish this trade first. So we're going to ship out Valdez and his $15 million. Romano and Gomez, and if we sign Lewis, he's going to be signed for at least twenty million, so it's going to be a wash. Um, yeah. Well, promoting Bloom is okay. I don't mind that because he knows how to get prospects. And if we're not going to spend money on free agents, and we're not going to sign good free agents when we do sign free agents, then I'd rather just load up the farm system and have those guys come in, and we can pay them 
or we can have a glut of prospects and make trades for, you know, other players. But um, Ollie needed to be fired and so did Mo. And I was listening to the press conference. And as soon as Mo opened his mouth and said, Oh, you got me back for one more year. I turned it off. It's like, fuck you. You're not so smart. You're not funny. You're a fucking asshole. Take your bow tie and go fuck off. And so I am not going to actively watch them next year. I don't give a shit what they do. Just play the young guys. Um, when those two fucktards are gone, then I'll be back as a full-time. Now, Bloom got fucked in Boston because their owner couldn't decide what he wanted to do. And then he said he wasn't going to sign Mookie Betts, which meant they couldn't get shit for him in a trade. They screwed themselves. Um, and he built up their farm system. They went from 30th in Major League Baseball to number three this year. And they did it in three years. <laughs> They have three three top ten guys, Marcelo Mayer, uh, Roman Anthony, and one other guy. They, they've got some really good prospects. So he's going to do what we need to do, um, and that's replenish the farm. Uh, we, we just got to get rid of the uh, idiots that have put us in this situation to begin with. But it's for another day. Um, so let me finish this trade. So we're going to get Royce Lewis. He's going to be our third baseman. He's, he's, he needs a, a contract. So I'm only going to play one year, so I only got to offer him one year. <laughs> I don't have to sign him to a long-term deal because we're only playing one year, right? 7.3. He'll take that. Barlow will take that. All right. So I said to you, here's Royce. So he crushes righties. He's got great clutch, so that helps against lefties. Good defense. Um, can play everything but first and catcher. Speed's okay. So he's coming off three years in a row with 30 home runs. He's not going to walk a lot. He's going to get some strikeouts. Don't care. Pardon me. Um, and he's only 28. Yeah, I traded for Manoa last year, so I'm trying to re-sign him, um, lead our staff. Because once he, I just traded away Valdez, so if I get Manoa, that's one, two, three, four. Hence would be five. Bueller's six. We got some other guys down here, and we we re, we really restocked their pitching, so we're in good shape. Um. So that takes care of that trade. Write that off the books. Now, waiting for Barlow to resign and Lewis to resign. All my renewables. Um, got all that done. Oh, here we go. I need, hold on, there's another free agent out here. Let's see if. Tanner guy is still available. Or do I have to trade for his ass? He probably signed because I dicked around. Let's check. Yeah, he's on Washington. That's okay. Should have signed him. All right, Royce, we'll take care of that. So here, here's the new cat, the new closer that we're gonna get. I'm only gonna offer him one year. Nine point four, and we should get drawn Duran. Yeah, he got complacent. So Duran's got ninety one home runs per nine, ninety six pitch clutch, ninety nine velocity. This guy. His walks are a little low, but this is who I want as our closer. So now we just need these two guys to sign. These two, these three guys to sign. We just advance today, and those three will sign. And uh, yeah, everybody offered. I cut him, so I can't sign him. He's got to go through waivers. Those guys. All right. So arbitration's good. 40 man is at 35. So we'll have to put 
Plante on the 40 man. Um, and probably Yoshida. I don't know. We'll deal with this later. Um, let's see if any of these guys signed. All right. We got Bryce Bush. We'll move him to first. We got the relief pitcher, Leroy, and the left fielder, Cabrera. So. Yeah, that should work. So we got that. Um, do I really want to trade Wilson Contreras? You know who I traded him for. Um, let me save this. I traded him to Boston, didn't I? I trade him for Connor Wong. There's one point difference in overall, and there's a whole lot of difference in money. And he's 40 years cheaper, and he hits hits righties pretty good. Really good defense. I think that's what I did. It wasn't Kyle Teal. Although they would trade me Kyle Teal. I don't know why they would trade me Kyle Teal. It's an A, 80, 80 overall for... We'll come back to this trade. We'll come back to that. I also had... Uh, this was another one that I did. Otani betting. If he bet, they covered it up. So we have Jake Rogers, who absolutely crushes power, but not average. It's terrible average, but he hits a lot of power. As a backup. I had done that one earlier. They don't need him with these guys ahead of him. So we'll see. We will see. We'll we'll revisit that. All right. I have a huge trade that I'm gonna make. We'll see if you guys like this or not. <laughs> so let's get to it. We are gonna trade. We would trade him. And him. And him. Who do you think I'm going to trade those three guys for? I could get Judge. <laughs> we could have Judge to play center field for us. We can do it for Judge. Let me write that down. And Sparbori. I don't want Soto. I've already had Soto. I want. I want to. I want to trade for someone that I haven't played with before. I'd love. I would love McC McClanahan. Um, don't need Vladdy. This guy was in our first draft. Remember this guy? Um, don't need Bobby. Already traded with them. Tucker, yeah, I could, but they want more. Jordan, they would they would make it for Jordan. We can trade for Jordan, guys. We can trade for Trout. Uh, remember, we're only going to play one year. We're going to play one year. So it doesn't matter how old they are. At the end of this at the end of this season, we're done with the Cardinals. So it doesn't matter. I don't want Soto. And it's trading in the division too. 
Yeah, I don't want Mookie. I'd rather not have Mookie. Tatis's power is too low. All right, so here's our options. Remember, we're only playing one year. There you go. You guys, let me know. Problem with Alvarez is I'd probably have to move um, Walker back to the outfield and put him in right and put Newt Bar in center. But both Judge and Trout would go straight in the lineup and play center field. Um, those are the guys that we can make that trade for. The one I want to make the trade for is Trout. I want to get Trout on this team and win a World Series for Trout. I only got two more years left on that contract. And we have never played with Trout. So... What do you guys think? That's that's what I'm thinking of doing because we, we give them a pitcher. We give them a third baseman. We already gave them Elvis Martinez, but we're giving them the prospect, the stud prospect that we acquired originally from them when we got Kukut or uh, oh, who's the left-handed reliever that we got? Uh, Matsui. Um, they have Bader. They have Bader and Edmund. Their team is terrible. So that's why I'm I'm wanting to make this deal and get Trout more than Judge. Um, Trout's power is down against lefties, but he's he's still really good against righties. What did he do last year? He still had 35, hit 301. We did Judge instead. His power is still way up. His vision's low. The defense is about the same. His contract's two years longer. But that's what we're looking at. So you guys let me know. Probably don't need Alvarez because I don't need another left-handed bat. So bring Trout to the Cardinals or Judge. I'm going to make one huge trade. Just for the hell of it, since we're almost done. And uh, try and win. He's 36. He's 35. No answer, no answer. Going once, going twice. Sold. We got... Yeah, the Angels have been awful. We just got Trout. Deal done. So there he is, Mike Trout, on the Cardinals. His <laughs> defense is going to be a little eh, but Walker's is a little bit better. Donovan can handle left field. Walker's going to DH. Newt Bar's in right. And um, I think, what do I need? I think I need All right, he's gonna play third. What I'm gonna do is move Sajacy's position to third as his primary. That way he won't take a hit if I have to play him at third because we can always move Royce Lewis out to the outfield if we need to for a day. Need to give somebody a rest or Trout gets hurt. We can move Royce out to the outfield, puts JC at third. Um, or puts a JC at second and Gorman at third. Rangifo kills lefties. So, yeah, I gave them a pitcher, useful pitcher. I gave them another center fielder, and I gave them the top prospect in baseball. If we go over here to the prospects, I won't show it. When we get to uh, the end of... The offseason, it'll show that the guy we just traded away is the number one prospect in baseball. That Robert uh, Barbori, the guy right in the middle at the top. 
He's the number one prospect. He's, uh, go to the Angels. Yeah. He's 20 years old. He's an A. He's 71 overall. He just doesn't have a lot of power. Probably should be playing second base. He's great contact. So. All right. We have five guys for the 40 man. We've got two guys right here, so that would take care of this. We have three guys that we need to add for the 40 man. Um, three guys, three guys, three guys. Don't care if they take Bush. So let's do this guy and this guy. Leaves us with one more. Because I'm done adding free agents. All we're going to do is try to nail down that starting pitcher and a closer. I don't care if Homer Bush leaves. So Fernandez, he's 29. If they really want him, I don't want to add another catcher. Maybe we'll just sit with that. Um, he is not on a 40 man. He doesn't need to be. Okay, that's good. Let me save this. So we have this trade for Trout done. And advance the day. Anybody sign? Mm -hmm. Those guys resigned. How many guys are left? Still got quite a few. These guys are still mulling their arbitration. Guy finally got a pitching coach. Brandon Marsh to the Guardians. Logan Gilbert to the Mets. Resigned a bunch of minor leaguers. Let's check free agency. Duran's still sitting there. Manoa, Tampa Bay, or I'm sorry, Toronto's trying to bring him back, but they're uh, 20 million below what we're offering, so he just needs to get out. Should I get should I get off pot? Let's go, come back. Anybody else out here? There's no nobody really worth a shit. And Duvall's getting some offers. If we don't get Duran, then I'll try and get Bautista. Let's see if we can get him. Junior Caminero gets traded to the Mets. Brewers. No. Now trading in division. Bautista goes to Detroit, so we won't be signing him. So let's look. He's still there. Baltimore's jumping in. If I have to, I'll throw a second year on there, but I don't think it matters. I can always just up that to 10. Well, how much money we got? Barlow signed his deal. Now we got 102 million in budget space. <laughs> we can sign anybody we want to. Forty man. I'm just gonna let these guys go, and if we lose them, we'll figure it out. Um. I still want to trade Contreras. He's terrible defensively. He's regressing. 63, 67 against righties. 66-58. He's going up. He's got much better defense. Just doesn't have good clutch. 31. Even if we traded for Teal, he doesn't have great clutch either. He's young. Catching is so bad in this game. They do not rate the prospects nearly good enough to be usable in this game. They, they don't progress fast enough, so they don't get to the majors. They don't replace the old guys, so you get a bunch of teams that are just garbage. And, and the problem with the catchers is once their defense is stupid high, that makes their overall high, and they're really not that great to begin with. What's up, tight spot? Riley can't hit lefties. I don't want him. I would take either of these two guys. What's he making? 18 mil? Can't hit lefties, though. What do they want for Harry Ford? Just for shits and grins.
They want Donovan and Romero. Don't think so. Hey, tight spot. You see that we got uh, Trout. We signed Trout or traded for Trout. And Royce took his arbitration. So Barlow signed his. Royce signed his. So. And we're only going to play one year. So. Hey, look, we re signed Manoa. Five years, 68 mil. So we got him. We got Alec Manoa. All right, so that sets our staff. One, two, three, four, five. And if he struggles, we've got some guys down here that can come up and pitch. We've got a stud bullpen. We just need the closer. So let's up this. We have plenty of room. Let's go three years, 33.3. Oh, he doesn't like that. Really? How about one year at um, 10 million? There we go. Duvall goes to Miami. Albies to the Phillies. Nice to get him off the Braves for a change. Okay. Brady Singer got traded to the Brewers. Wow. Interesting. I'm still hanging in there. All right. Once we get through this offseason, then I will play some spring training with player lock on Royce Lewis and Trout, and then we'll be done. Yeah, they don't. They Well, they're not rated high enough so that when they go to the major leagues, because it's all predicated on their whether they're A, B, or C, that's how many, depending on that, how many points they get each year in progression and, and stats. So if, if their ratings aren't high enough, they're not going to play well enough for their stats to be crazy good to get even more um, of a jump in their overall. So you see these guys come into the majors last year and this year, all these rookies, they would never make it um, in this system because they're not rated high enough overall. Paul Skeens isn't even high enough now. Um what I'm going to do is when we're done with the Cardinals and we, we go to play either the White Sox or move the A's, I'm going to take the very last um, roster file that they put out, which I think came out yesterday. So all of the players' schemes will be really high. All of the young players will be really high so that they're actually rated properly. But I might go in and look at some of the other prospects and boost them up, the ones that are still in the minors, make sure the starting pitchers – that are in the bullpen for the playoffs are actually in the starting at listed as starting pitchers in the file instead of the other um, injured guys. I will put them on the 40 man and put them in the majors and we'll just act like none of those injuries happen. We'll get through the season and uh, we'll just sim that whole first season and go unless it's uh, the White Sox, then we'll actually play that first season. But anyway, um, let's see. So, we're not trading unless we trade Contreras. Duran's our only pending offer out there. We have three open spots, so we can actually add two free agents. So let me check this out. Um, I'm not sure if it does or not. I, I don't. I'll move that other starting pitcher to a long relief, or I'll just leave him off the first round of the playoffs for sure, the wild card. I'd leave that pitcher off and add another position player. Um. <laughs> Let me see, let me see. Let's go here. If you go under update trade block, hit square, hit square. Now it can tell you what we have. So we have 
four starting pitchers in the majors, which I need to move somebody up. So you need 5, 10, 15. So I just need to move a double A up to MLB. We'll have five at each, four guys in the minors. So we actually could go sign a couple more starting pitchers. We have 22 relievers. So that gives us 6, 12, 18, and then four extra. We need another closer added, so we still need to add two players. Um, so I probably need to add a center fielder and a right fielder and maybe trade a couple of relievers for starters. So let's go look and see what we have. Free agency. Let's see. 19D. Nobody that's way young. Lawrence Butler. I wonder if we could stick him in the minors. Wouldn't be bad to stick him in right field and put him in the minors. He's only on a renewable. Let's see if we can snag him. Need a center fielder as well. All right. Let's see if we can flip somebody here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we got a bunch of guys. Let me see if I can trade Zach Thompson for a starting pitcher. Spectre with the sub. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, yeah, I'm back. What's good? Fucking Bama lost, so now no one's even paying attention that Mizzou played like shit. <laughs> Fuck Brady Cook, that baby back. I've hated him the whole time, man. So now everybody's going to yell at the board and they're not even going to pay attention to Mizzou shit in the bed. <laughs> Been gone a while, man, but I'll be back. We're going to finish this off season today. Um, I'll take tomorrow off because it's NFL, fantasy football. And then Monday day, um, we'll play April. And Tuesday day, we'll play May. And then I'll take off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And uh, sometime over the weekend, we'll come back and play June. Um, the draft really won't mean as much for us in this because we're only playing this one year for the Cardinals and we're done. This will be the last year. And then we'll start all over with some other team. So... When is the NWO going to play a game again? What is going on, you guys? It's like in Ghost Town in there. There's no games. No one's chatting. I post shit in there. No one replies. It's like it's like a ghost town. You don't want to trade me any starting pitchers. Well, let's do it manually then. Screw it. Enrique Bourbon. Let's see. <laughs> All right, can we get any kind of prospect for this guy? does not look like they want to trade us anything that's young. They don't have to be studly. No. Okay. Hmm. 1.9. We can leave him there. Let's see if we can trade Palante for a starting pitcher. Yeah, if I was, uh, if I enjoyed NCAA... 25 then I would have been streaming the whole time but you know how I feel about that fucking game so 
and I have been this close multiple times to reinstalling that game, but I'm like, no, I've I've been nice and calm, and I haven't been raging and <laughs> haven't had to bitch and moan constantly. My wife just gets tired of listening to me complain about the fucking video game, so I just don't install it. I uh, I did beat um, XCOM 2 on the hardest level. Finally got that done. Um, both on PC and on PlayStation. So, I got something accomplished. Other than refing. God damn. Why does this guy look like? Fuck it. Alright. We're going to make that deal. So we flip the reliever for a starter. And... Trade another one. Maybe that should be it. That should probably be enough. All right. Free agency. I'm trying to bring these two guys in to fill in depth wise and get him to be our closer. So let's see if we can advance this. I don't know why this guy's showing up because we don't have him. And this is. Now let's go look for agency. Anybody else out there? No. Don't be worth a shit. All right. Twins want to make another trade. No. Everybody wants JoJo. I don't why would I want to trade JoJo? Um We got Duran. There we go. So we signed the center fielder and we signed Duran. Don't like either of those games. It's garbage. So we're waiting on Lu uh, Lawrence Butler now to be a backup for us. I'm just going to stick him in AAA, even if we have to pass him through waivers. So there we go, boys. Here's our pitching staff. Manoa, Cutliffe, Painter, Bybee, Hentz, Blow Him, Sellers, Roby. All right. And then we've got a loaded bullpen. If I run into too much trouble, I can always move Mason Miller to the rotation. <laughs> and then we got Duran as our closer. Davis and Contreras right now, catcher. Maybe I'll start with that, and if I have to, I'll trade during the year. <laughs> Which game is that, Madden or college football? Naylor got there. Gorman. Royce Lewis. Mason Wynn. Jordan Walker and Donovan. Trout. Scott will be our backup because he's great pinch runner. This guy can come up and play too. Um, Newt Barr and uh, we're waiting on Butler. Both. That's terrible. Terrible. All right. So look at that. First at closers and relievers. Second at second base. Second at third base. Second in left field. Fourth in center field. Sixth and first and short. Eleventh at catcher. Twelfth at starter. Thirteenth and right. I think we are I think we are one of the top three teams, I guess. Let me save this. Specta I traded for Trout and Royce Lewis. So Adolo to the Orioles. And all right, let's go to the draft lottery. You can see we're picking 29th. We have no shot at it. White Sox, Rockies, Nationals. Cubs are fifth. There you go. A's are seventh. They'd do better. Yeah, not only do they call that, it's <clears throat> you don't want to sim at all, like on defense, because they will never stop. I've done that before. I give up 28 points in the fourth quarter because my defense will stop nothing on, on the sim, and I get tired of playing defense. So, All right, let's sim this draft lottery and see what goes on. Oh. <clears throat> The Nationals go up. The Blue Jays go up. The White Sox drop three spots. Looking at all the other. Dalton Varsho goes to the Mets. Mets seem like they're loading up. Let's go look at the Mets. Lobert Suarez. Suarez. Senga. Yeah. Alvarez, 
First base is wide open. Acuna is an 83. Caminero is playing third. Lindor is playing short with Tovar. Varsho and Nemo. Look at this contract by Nemo. He's still got three years of 20 mil. <clears throat> um, Gilbert. Rooker. All right, what do the Phillies look like? Wow. They have nothing in the outfield. Albies is over at second. Harper. Kirk. <laughs> Scooble, Nola, Sandoval. Kitty Abel. Who's got the best pitching? Looks like the Marlins. Braves fall off after they got Jared Jones in a trade a couple years ago in this game. Cubs are eh. Hunter Green. They have nothing. You gotta worry about the Pirates. Because remember, the Pirates have Pete Alonzo. And Juan Soto. They signed both those guys in the same year, like three years ago. Look at this staff. This is fucking disgusting. Oh, next year, when the new game comes out next year, I'm doing the Giants. We're going to do a Giants franchise right off the rip. So... All right, go to the draft. Who are we going to lose? Don't lose anybody, please. There we go, good. Didn't lose anybody, that's always good. So we're at 93. And we signed Lawrence Butler, so there we go. So let's let's go back to our transactions. Do our free agency for the Cardinals. So, all the way back to the beginning. We let Arenado go as a free agent. We let Doval go as a free agent. Manoa didn't take our offer, so he became a free agent. We signed three uh, prospect guys to fill in the minors. Four prospect guys. And then we signed Duran to a one-year $10 million, Butler to a one-year seven fifty, and we re-signed Duvall the signings Why does it, yeah there we go five years 68 million barlow took uh one year at 1.8 to avoid arbitration royce lewis took a one year 7.3 to avoid arbitration and uh we still have 78 million that we could spend <laughs> and can, can the 17 million will go away and Naylor, if we were going to play another year, I'd probably let him go and just move Walker to first base. And then we could go get whatever hitter we wanted to play DH. Um, we'd have a bunch of these guys to sign as free agents. So we'd run into some trouble next year. Gorman's going to be a free agent. Walker's got two more years. Wynn's got two more years. Yeah, we're going to... We'd be in salary cap hell, right? <laughs> have to trade Trout away. All right, so... I think our offseason's done. I think we've signed all the guys we want to sign. We've traded all the guys we want to trade. I think if I if I decide to trade Contreras, I might wait and do it in early in the season and see how it goes. See if somebody gets an injury and I can ship him off and get something else for him. So that's the case. Let's just rip through the rest of this. Dean Kramer to Texas. Manning to Seattle. Detmers to the... White Sox. No. Alexis Diaz to the White Sox. Bryson Stott to Arizona. Quan to the Cubs. All right. Who's still out here? A Eugenio Suarez. Kepler. Wish he didn't hit left-handed. We need somebody that can hit right-handed. That doesn't hit well enough. Sonny Gray sitting out here. What do he do after we get rid of him? Went to Milwaukee. Left as a free agent. Went to Milwaukee. Had a decent season, and he's just sitting out there. 
Weed. Gritchick. Ozuna. Goldschmidt. Wow. Mitch Garber's sitting out there. I could always snag him as a free agent if we want to trade away Contreras for something else. Hunter Renfro. We've used him multiple times. Reggie Penny. Who's on the trade block? Cedric Mullins. Cedric the Entertainer. He's in the last year of his deal. Jake Rogers. That's the guy that we were going to trade Contreras for. He's making six and a half, so we would shave 11 million off. It's better defensively. It's got a lot more power, but his contact is crap. His clutch is terrible. No contracts to renew, no free agents to worry about. All right, we are off to spring training, boys and girls. All those guys got called up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's not on the 40 man. All those guys are up. Yoshida's up. All right. Roberts gets fired. Dodgers are a mess. They have too many injuries. Their pitching is just getting decimated by injuries this year. So they shouldn't fire him because of their pitching getting just crashed. All right, that's where we're going to go for spring training. What about lineups? You know what? We're going to lead off with Mike Trout because he has really good speed and he's got the best contact on the team. Looks kind of strange having us lead off with Trout, but that's what we're going to do. And then we need to put Lewis at third. Right, short, catcher is going to be Henry Davis. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're actually going to bump him there. Win. I'm going to flip Win and Davis because I want the faster guy on base in front of Trout. Um, I think. I'm going to flip these two. It's pretty sad when Gorman's hitting sixth and a dude hit 50 home runs for us last year. But this is against righties. So I think that's what we're going to go with. And then against lefties... So if we go if we go you flip with you you go there Gifo, let's, let's flip you. Wow. 
Let's flip that. I don't want wind hitting cleanup, but we'll see how this goes. So we're going to player lock with Trout and Royce Lewis in spring training. So, you know, um, save this. All right. Let's see if my earbud has charged up enough that I can put it in. Hey, it is. Now I'll be able to hear the game. All right. All right, boys and girls. Cardinal debut of Mike Trout. Mike Trout in a Cardinal uniform. You know and welcome in everybody. that Glad we took Shelby Miller before action. Trout went to the MLB Angels. The show is the St. Louis Cardinals going up against the New York Mets. I have an echo in here. So All right, right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Here's Mike Trout. The pitch. Swing this shit. Get it up. Ground ball left side. Dig, 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 get up. Tosses to first. One up, one down. Oh, lots of presentation this year for what? For football? Baseball. Back to the top of the lineup. I'm hoping MLB 25 is. Uh, that one's upstairs. Ball one. Next gen only. Get rid of the PS4 support and just go to PS5. There we go. I got rid of the echo. I was capturing the both the uh, video capture card and my uh, speakers. So I had an echo going on. I didn't get enough of it. The air center field. Gilbert makes the grab one away. Ready he doesn't have a lot of power against lefties anymore. So that's why we're batting him lead off. He's only got 30 steel. Nice line drive to the full side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. That one the other way. Fires to second. On the first double play. As a former player, watching 5 4 3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting part. Pitch hitter coming on. All right, he's out of the game. With the score 8 to 5. Didn't do much with him. We'll do uh, Lewis the next game. Edward Cabrera, okay. All right. Lineup is uh, pretty good shape. We could do a little bit better at catcher, but. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now here is Royce Lewis. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Lewis, in his sixth season, 28 years old. And he took home the Silver Slugger last year in the American League. Let's put this over here. The 1-0. -oh. And there's a foul Instead of covering up the scoreboard. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. Yeah. And a foul ball. I don't feel tardy. If you know Van Halen, you know what the reference is. That one missed. Just that piece of that. To the right side, keeps the AB going. Three, 
How did I miss that pitch? Two outs, base is empty. And up next for St. Louis, Royce Lewis. Ah, jammed. I've been playing Diamond Dynasty in that franchise, so... Playing too much of uh, Rookie on Diamond Dynasty to grind for cards. I need to go back and start playing on Hall of Fame so I get used to hitting again. What the... Oh, okay, it's Waldron. I was going to say, what the fuck was that? That's a knuckleball. <laughs> that was a knuckleball. Here you go. See if he can hit this. <laughs> okay. A four seamer, a sinker, a slider, and occasionally uses a cutter. Runner on the goal, pitch in the dirt. Throw. Tried to hit it. Tried to put it in play somewhere. My God. Maybe I need to trade for this dude and use him in the bullpen. It prevents teams from just testing him, thinking that they can even steal a base. But right here, they successfully moved to Ah, 59 miles an hour. <laughs> Wasted an AB because of that asshole. Hey, at least we got a win. Henry Davis. Single double home run, three ribs. Cutliff gave up five earned. That's not good. All right. Zach Wheeler is with the Astros. Interesting. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to go back to Trout. Anybody that wasn't here 10 minutes ago, <laughs> we traded for Mike Trout and Royce Lewis. Traded six guys for those two. So... Including the number one prospect in baseball. Here's Mike Trout. And he deals. And that one's a little bit low. And we are underway. Come on, Zach, get it down. The wind of the pitch. Yeah, tardy. I was tardy on that one. Surprise! They call this batter a day player. He statistically performs better in these games, and he's hoping for a big performance in this one. Next offering is down low. By the way, I could trade for Wyatt Langford. There is a trade possibility that I could do that would go through. That one misses. And drew a walk. Give me a strike, man. I don't think you really wanted to pitch to him right there, anyhow. Brendan Donovan. Next up for the Cardinals. Tried to go back. Oops. Oops. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout. Foul ball there. It's down. Trout is one of the best players of his generation. He's a fan favorite because he brings a rare combination of speed, power, and all-around talent to the team. He's exactly the type of player you want to build around. And a pitch. Yeah, Alright, you guys in chat, let me know. When we get back to the regular season, do you want to watch me play three full games and sim the rest of the month? Or do you want me to play some moments, player lock, and play some moments and get to see bits of more games, different opponents, um, or you just want to see full games? So uh, I know what we're doing, because we did kind of both last year. The 2-2 two -two on the way. It's hard to get in a groove when you're doing individual at bats. When you get into a game, you uh, you can get in, you can figure out the pitchers and get in a groove. There we go, double off the right center field wall. Patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you combo. I'm gonna play at least one, if not two, full games, and then we can mix in some other stuff. McCormick flashes the leather on the run and catch. All right, Walker, let's go. Smash one. At the belt and fires, and he walked him on four pitches. 
try the custom entry. Yeah, I haven't uh, really done that. I just said said it to no. And we did a lot of uh, just player locks instead. On the ground, two ball. On the second, they get one. Oh, he's safe. There we go. Way to beat it out, Naylor. Ragland kind of took a lazy attitude. All right, Royce, let's go. We hit righties better than lefties. That's why I added you and Trout. I wanted to beat up on these right-handed pitchers. Tie game. Oh, got under it. Perfect timing, too. Just puts it away. Must have dipped. Now back for the top of the eighth, and they'll go with the Hey, we won. Davis, at least Davis is doing well. So JC one for two. Mason had a double. Davis with an RBI double. All right, McKinsey Gore. I'm gonna skim uh skip that game because he's a lefty. Now we'll go back and play. All right. Josh is hitting 077. I'd rather have him hit 077 in spring than in the uh, regular season. So. Back to the ballpark. Here's Royce Lewis. Whitlock back to work. Oh, it didn't. There's a change up and I was out in front. Says it was good to contact, but it felt way out in front. Hey, Jordan Walker hit a grand slam. See that? So that's why we're up 5 nothing. Let's move this higher. Here we go. Base hit. I used to put that dot right at the bottom of the center field wall. And now I push it up higher because when I dip my PCI, if I have it high to start with, and I dip it, it keeps it higher in the zone. What's this deal? 44. Alright, Lars. Dude. Didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on. Come on, come on, dig, 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 dig. Lars Newtbar. Grissom makes the grab, and the inning is over. Two outs, nobody on. Here's All right, Arenado's with the Red Sox. Look at that. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field, under it. And a little too much air. Run. Not taking hardly any pitches, and he's out of the game. This one ends with a final score. Here, has he got top prospects? There we go. That guy we traded back to the Angels is number one. This guy. Do we have anybody else even remotely close? Corona. Alonso Moranville with the terrible hits in K's per nine. There's another dude. Drew Ludwig. That's a closer we drafted, I think, last year. Year before. Yeah, we kind of shipped out a bunch of prospects. So Cabrera. He's a guy that good contact, not much power. Can play first and third. This guy we signed in the offseason. Um, let's check our scouts. 94, 98, 98, 98, 98. All right, we're good. All these guys are up for contract extension. Let's just do some, do some simming. 10 and 11 and 4. It's Dustin May. Let's play these guys.
Look at all those guys on fire. Here's Mike Trout. The wine and the pitch. That's off the mark, and that's ball one. one and oh. Fastball change up curve. Oh, that's gone. Our first trout homer. And just like that, they're out front. It's one nothing. Four forty seven. No doubt about that one. Adios, Pelota. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. <laughs> Patient, waited for it. That's our leadoff hitter. All over again. So the lineup flips over, and now batting Mike Trout. There's a swing and a drive. Go on, go on, go to, go and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn. We're going three. Not stopping. He's going for three. Right here on the back, on the back. And this is going to be a two. All right, triple. single and a double. Get well, hit for the cycle. We're only in the second inning. Right there. Put a really nice balanced swing <laughs> on it, and when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first. And he's out. Steps out of the box. Whips it across. Right. Inning over. Back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis. And Gorman with an RBI double gives us the lead again after Cruz homered to tie it. Ooh. He is singling a double here to get for the cycle. We're only in the fourth inning. Ah, topped it. And they're gonna replace us, of course. We got the win. Bring Gifo with a grand slam. All right. One for one with a Granny Gorman, three for four. Trout, triple and a homer. This offense is gonna score some runs. Let's try another game with Lewis. He's not playing. You know what? I feel like playing with Nolan Gorman instead. Let's try to hit some tanks. Here's Nolan Gorman. Love inside, high inside fastballs from lefties. First offering and it just misses. That's why I always sit right on this quadrant right here. Third, at first with nobody out. Anything away, we just spit on. Anything on the inner half, we back. Let's go. Up and in, and that's ball three. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations, and right here with the middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find. Not where I wanted it, and it's a changeup. Come on, throw me that high fastball. 90 power against lefties. That jammed me just a little bit. Sack fly, though. Get the run home. There we go. Got the lead. Hey, Lewis hit a home run. Do nothing lead. And that's outside. Two outs, bases empty. Oh. In the air, out towards right center. Duran. It's going to hit the wall. Nope. That is so deep out there. And that is that. So one out, nobody on. Here's a big We get done with spring training here. I will, uh. That misses the zone. I'll pull up my Diamond Dynasty team so you can see what the uniforms would be if we go with Utah. If we move Oakland to Utah. And I'll uh, I'll do a home run derby real quick with just two batters in that ballpark so you can see what it looks like. It's gonna be caught. And then I'll show you what the uh, White Sox custom park that the other dude made that I downloaded. 
nine, and it'll get started. Three, two, the I'll final score. Nobody's gotten hurt. I'm just going to sim through. The Chubbs. We'll sim that. All right. Spring training's over. We went 18 and 12. We and the Yankees are the best teams in spring training. Look at that. Our team ranks first. <laughs> Defense is 12th. Speed is 17th. Everything else is top five. If we don't win a World Series this year, who's hurt? Anybody hurt? You may get a spring training injury. Griff McGarry. All right, that's the only injury. Spring stats. Jordan Walker, 411 with seven home runs and six deals. Nolan Gorman, four home runs. Henry Davis, six home runs. Trout, seven home runs. Sajacy hit 396. Mason Wynn only hit 144. That's fine. Get that shit out in spring training. That's what it's for. Pitching outside of hints. Everybody was eh. And Duran. I think you got 18 strikeouts and 12 innings. I'll take that. Free agents. Wow, there's only three starting pitchers out there? <laughs> wow. Three. There's literally three starting pitchers. Hope you don't need a starting pitcher during the year. Good Lord. All right. We'll save it here. And I will go off camera, move my guys down to the minors, get my double-A, triple-A set up, get my lineup. They're, they should be pretty well set, but I don't want to waste your time doing all that boring shit. So we'll just do that off-camera. I'll deal with it tomorrow or later tonight or some shit. Um, so let's exit out of here, and let's go to Diamond Dynasty. And this is what the Utah Avengers would look like if we move Oakland to Utah. So this is their road hat, navy blue, that nice metallic hat logo. And this is their uh, road. We're going to go with baby blues with uh, gold and navy blue. Same double stripe down the side. Double stripe on the sock. So that's their away. And this would be their home. They got uh, gold on the bill, so it's not the same hat. We have a cream-colored uniform with navy blue and light blue trim on the number. And we've got navy blue and gold stripes on the neck, the sleeves, and the pant legs. So that would be our home uniform. So cream at home and baby blue on the road. That'd be the Utah Avengers. And um, let's go into the creator and I can show you the ballpark and then we'll do a home run derby so you can see what it looks like in game you can see how far i hit the ball <laughs> in this park all right so i'm actually working on another version of this park um so that's what 2.0 means but this is the one we're going to use i might adjust and switch to the uh, 2.0 later but this would be the park So we got the mountains. Yes, there are mountains in Utah. Um, this would be like, in real life, that would be a bullpen. But just grass area for the uh, cage advertisement. 
You got people standing out here behind the uh, fence in front of the grill, right? Got the bleachers. We've got this building that sits behind it. It's like luxury boxes, basically, right? And then there's a big-ass party deck on top all the way down. So let's see what it looks like to sit out here. So that would be your view from, from the uh, party deck. And then from the dugouts down, it's like standing room only. So you gotta got to pretend and act like there's a net going up here, right, to protect these people. <laughs> but that would be like standing room only. Maybe you'd throw in some, some tables or whatever, but it's on both sides down the, down the uh, first and third base line. I might change this brick back to green and just have brick behind home plate home plate so when you're pitching it's it's brick um scoreboards over there get concessions more boxes luxury boxes in the corner same thing over here another restaurant we got staircase down we got a kids play area down here and uh hold on can get this lined up right yeah so you can stand out here play with your kids and then watch the game through the fence right and then this big ass building is your uh, backdrop your hitters at batter's eye and then we've got so these guys can walk out of here and walk straight up all of these people can walk up come up here we got concessions on the back side Got a bathroom here, more concessions, picnic tables, you got more concession stands there. These guys can walk from here down. Got a little concession stand hidden in the corner there. Some more over here. These guys are just standing here watching the game. And I put in this brick wall. Put some stands over the top you can see if you come around here on the side <laughs> these seats right here are actually tied into this but I, I put a I just blocked it off so anyway it gives it a lot of brick we got these like bleachers way up here in the nosebleed actually not such a bad view up here This would be a concourse out there. Um, and then from the batter's box, this is what you would see. And then at night, that building gets lit up. So... So that would be the Utah Park. And then if we did the White Sox and played one year in their current one and then moved them to a new park, I'll show you what that park would look like. I did not make this other park. Somebody else did. I've downloaded a lot of his parks. So... He's got these cool little overhangs and shit. Little party area, standing room only. Got concessions and shit back there. Triple deck. Um, he's got these walls that like tie all this together. So he's got some hanging seats in center field. Got some other you know, party areas over there. Nice little corner look at this it goes all the way back and around <laughs> but he's got some different different type of seating around he put some walls in here and modified all of this stuff it's really kind of cool he's got videos on youtube so i watch him build these parks and then when he's done i just download it And then, of course, with the White Sox, we got those things at center field. Let's see what this looks like again from here. Here's your center center field view, and this would be nighttime. 
So we did the White Sox. We would play one year in uh, current Comiskey and then come to this one. So let's go do a quick home run derby in each. We'll only have two batters against each other. And you can see what it looks like in game. And then we'll call it a night. I won't be on late. We're only at 143 right now. And then we'll have a nice three hour stream on Monday. Oops, not that one. Oh, here, look, Diamond Dynasty, guys. I'm done with everything but the season one, two, and three collections. Everything else is done. <laughs> everything else is done. All, everything's done. Home run derby. Offline two. Nope. 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 Two players. We don't want to take all night. And let's go. <sighs> yeah. In uh, Utah, we're going to go judge against Otani. <laughs> Get ready to see a whole bunch of 500-foot home runs. What's up, Bat and Gaming? Yep, I'm back. I, I've been very busy refing. In fact, I had to ref two college matches today. Um, my season will be over in early November, so I'm going to... We just did the uh, offseason for the Cardinals. We traded for Royce Lewis and Mike Trout. And sign Duran as our closer. Yeah, I hate the new college football game. Actually, absolutely hate it. I uninstalled it. I tried it for like three weeks, and then I uninstalled it. <laughs> I'm trying not to sneeze. Sorry about that. So, this will be the last year of the Cardinals. Win or lose, this is our last year. Now, he didn't step down. He's sticking around for another year. Heim <laughs> Bloom has taken over, but Mosellock's still around for another fucking year, that asshole. So, I will not be actively paying attention for another year. He's got one more year, and they, they didn't want to fire him. And he didn't want to go away. They they got rid of their quote-unquote GM, but he wasn't their GM. Mosellock was their GM, even though he was president of baseball operations. The other guy, Gersh, was just, he was a placeholder. He wasn't a real GM. They, they reassigned him to VP of special projects, which means they're just going to pay him to sit around and do nothing. Yeah, a lot of teams choked in the playoffs. All right, so this park right here, Batten, after we get done with the Cardinals, we're going to do one of two things. We're either going to move Oakland to Utah, or we're going to play the White Sox and put them in a new ballpark. This is the ballpark that we would play in if we moved the A's to Utah. It's one I made myself. Uh, if we move the White Sox to a new park, that's somebody else made that park. Number 17. But I made this one. Oh, I've already hit that. <laughs> 496. 5'11". I wish they'd let the home run, let us do the home run derby at night because I want to see what this looks. I would love to do this with the lights on, but they always do it during the day.
He goes right off the end of the bat. Hooked it. Got that one. There you go, 510. Apo Taco, 482. Didn't hit that one well at all. Alright, 26 with him. Here's Judge. Let's see what we do with Aaron Judge. side of the staircase. Five twenty one, there we go. Didn't get that one. Five twenty five. I almost put it it's going to be a hell of a poke to get it up to that uh, all the way up to that grassy area up there 496 Oh, Judge wins. All right, let's go to the other park. <clears throat> you can see what it looks like with the uh, new White Sox park. And for this one, let's go with Griffey and Aaron. <laughs> 521 right off the rip. Just snuck it.
Hey, you hit the scoreboard. I'm shocked the scoreboard's only 520 because I went further to the right. And it was five feet further, but that was much higher on the scoreboard. Ooh, that was a line drive. 420. Where's Jimmy? That was only 505. The other one was 520. a rope. Triple deck. There we go. All right, there's the two parks that we would use. So we'll figure it out as we play the Cardinal season. I'll let you guys uh, have some input in that. But uh, this is what we did today. Got Mike Trout. Signed Duran to be our closer. Traded for Royce Lewis also. Brought Manoa back. There's our, our starting staff right there. Really good bullpen closer. Young closer in the waiting. Davis is going to be our, our uh, number one catcher. Naylor's back at first. Gorman, uh, he'll play some second and third. Rangifo's going to play some second and outfield. Royce Lewis will play some third, maybe some outfield. So JC's going to play second and third, maybe a little first base. Wins back at short. Donovan is probably going to play a lot of left field. Walker's going to DH, although at some point we may put Walker out there against certain lefties and 
play somebody else over Donovan. Trout's in center field. Victor Scott's going to be your speed guy and defensive guy. And Newt Barr starting in right field. We also brought in Lawrence Butler. He's going to the minors. This was the guy that, remember we drafted this dude and he disappeared when we went to sign him? He's up to a 75 overall right now, so. <clears throat> we were playing three or four more years, he'd be up pretty quick. But anyway, we are ranked first. First overall, first contact, third power, fourth pitching, 12th defense, 17 speed. So this team's ready to rock and roll. And, uh, yeah, I'll go set the uh, minor leagues and all that stuff off camera. So, anyway, thank you guys. Appreciate you guys uh, coming back. I know it's been forever. It'll be a lot more frequent uh, going forward. Like I said, Monday and Tuesday for sure, April and May. And then we'll get to uh, June sometime over next weekend. And uh, let me see what my schedule is. Ref schedule. College match on Wednesday, high school Thursday, four college matches Friday, high school on the 14th and 15th, college on the 16th, and then we start high school playoffs, two matches on the 22nd, a college match the 23rd, and two high school matches on the 25th, and I'm done after that unless I get more playoff matches for high school or I get some college matches so yeah once we get through the 25th I'll be able to uh, I'll be able to stream frequently uh, we may have to do some night streams instead of day streams it's a lot easier for me to stream at night after the wife goes to bed so I don't bother her during the day so We'll figure it out, but we're going to do two day streams this next week on uh, Monday and Tuesday. So if you're bored at work, come watch us play. Hopefully just crush the National League. Try and get a World Series for for me and for Mike Trout. <laughs> so who else? I don't have anybody that I follow as on right now. So if there's somebody you want me to go raid, throw them in chat. I'll be glad to go do it. Um... Otherwise, I'm going to go, what's, what college football games are on? I have a website, guys. If you want to watch not only TV, but if you want to watch all college, actually, it's not even college. NBA, MLB, NHL, NFL, college football, college basketball, soccer, pay-per-view. Um, if you want to see all this shit for free. sure you have ad blockers on it's all i'm warning you just make sure you have ad blockers on go to that link right there you can watch any sport any match you want pay-per-view want to watch Pereira and roundtree that was on at seven o'clock wasn't it 9 p.m we got uh sharks and vegas golden knights for hockey but uh it's got regular TV channels, too. I got rid of my cable. <laughs> um, I don't pay for uh Sunday ticket. Every fucking game in the NFL is on that place right there. So I would highly recommend bookmarking that and uh, not pay for the shit. It's as expensive as shit is. I don't, I don't pay for anything if I don't have to. Fuck them. Anyway. All right, well, if nobody's on, I'm just going to let you guys go. Do uh, whatever you want. Go to your merry ways. Shano. No, I'll go read Shano. I don't, I'm not following Shano. I follow Big Baby Henny, but not Shano. But if he throws, throws his thing in here, I'll, uh, I'll go right out to him because we're going from baseball. He's probably playing baseball, I would imagine. Maybe he's playing couch football. I don't care. I'll send you off to somebody else. Have fun. But, uh, yeah, we're back and ready to be frustrated again. <laughs> and to celebrate, I have a whole brand new bottle of wine, that, or a wine, bottle of tequila. It's not wine. Let's see if we can read that. Probably can't. 
Oro de Lydia. 40% alcohol, 80 proof. Agave tequila. Brand new bottle not opened. Uh, still trying to finish off the Casamigos. So I haven't I haven't been drinking at all. <laughs> it's been nice. So no double shots. But we can get into it again. So alright. Shano 91Y. That's what I needed. Throw him in here. It's playing card shop simulator. That'd be fun. I haven't checked that out. I heard people like that game. So, all right, I'm going to start this raid. And when you guys are ready, we will. Uh, Head on out and uh, come back Monday, I would say 9, 10 a.m. Central Time, roughly. And uh, you guys take care. Have a good weekend. Hopefully I kick some ass in fancy football. And fuck Bama. Adios, boys and girls. Mm -hmm.